a classic casserole dish, my turkey divan. Turkey, broccoli, in a creamy, rich sauce. And actually, it makes great use of previously cooked chicken or turkey. And I start with butter into my saute pan. In true casserole style, I finish it in the oven, but everything, the filling and the sauce is made on the stove. Just finish dicing up my pepper. I've already cut up an onion, and the butter is in the pan, not just to saute the vegetables, but I'm actually going to add a bit of flour to it and make a roux to thicken the sauce. And I just want to sweat out, soften the vegetables a little bit, and my peppers. And I've already cooked my fresh broccoli, so about three cups worth. And what I did to cook them was blanch them in boiling hot water until they're almost, but not fully cooked, then shock them in ice water. That sets the color and stops the cooking. And the cheese I like to use to finish the sauce is a Jarlsberg, and I'll grate about two cups. A cup and a half will go into the sauce, and then I'll save half a cup to combine with breadcrumbs to put on top. There we go. Now that the onions are just about translucent, I can add the flour. About four tablespoons just sprinkled over the vegetables. I need to give the flour a couple minutes to cook out before I add the liquids. And for a little fresh herb addition, I like to add savory. I'll just give that a fine chop. I'll add the savory and characteristic to Divan, a couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard. A little Anna add in here, little lemon zest. Makes it a little more aromatic. I'll stir that in. Mm, and immediately, I can smell that lemon zest come to life. Now, I'll add two cups of chicken stock, half a cup at a time, and this loosens up the flour that's now coating all the vegetables. I'll add the last bit of stock and let that come up to a full simmer. Before I bring out the turkey, I want to chop the final garnish, a little bit of parsley. Now I'm ready to add the next step. So now that it's simmering, I can add half a cup of half and half cream to enrich the sauce. And the next ingredient to add is half a cup of white wine. And I can pour in the wine. And now I'm ready to add a cup and a half of the Jarlsberg and the broccoli. And can't forget about the turkey. I've got about a pound of cooked turkey breast. Could easily be chicken. I'm just actually going to slice the turkey in. I just put that in, just gently stir it to coat. Put a little salt and pepper. And I've got my casserole dish and, ooh, don't want to forget about the parsley. And pour this into my casserole dish. The final step, breadcrumbs that I'll add to the remainder of the grated Jarlsberg. Got half a cup of breadcrumbs. And to promote the browning, you need to put a little melted butter or olive oil, salt and pepper. This is the reason we love casseroles so much, is that crusty top to it. I like to cook this in a hot oven, 400 degrees, about 15 minutes, because it's hot now and it's fully cooked. So it's really just to get it bubbling and to brown the top of it. This is a classic dish. I love that crunchy crust, the velvety sauce. 
all the flavors work together. It's magic. She's got